What's up, everybody? It's your boy Crazy Al Kane, SugarCane.com, CACTV. We are here at the Urban Action Showcase. All day of action showcase, comic book, all kind of stuff. We're here with Duran Robeson, a very talented, awesome artist. He's going to tell us about his world and some of his amazing work right now. <laughs> Thanks, you put me on the spot like that, right? Is this good? Uh, well, this is basically what I do. I've been a professional artist for about 16 years now. I've worked on a couple of video games. I've worked on movies, uh, doing production on the movies. Uh, I've literally, you name it, in the art world, I've done it. You know, uh, when I was in Japan, I did doujin over there, like independent comics. In fact, I'm going back to Japan at the end of April, so I'm looking forward to that. Get some work done while I'm over there. Um, I teach. I do everything, man. It is what it is. These characters here from my uh, webcomic I got coming out soon. Uh, if you guys follow me on my blog, I know it's supposed to be out a month ago. Don't worry, we've had some technical delays, but it is coming. I do what's called a hybrid method where I will draw on paper. You know, I come with the composition, I come with the characters, draw it in pencil, then I scan it into the computer and I do all the rendering there. Um, and depending on how rushed I am or how I'm feeling, I might do as much as 50% pencils and then the rest colors, or I might just like, in the case of this Django Fett picture, that's pretty much 80% colored, you know? Um, sometimes I'll start with a small little thumbnail and sometimes I'll go larger. It really depends. The more you use the computer, the more you get used to it. Yeah, so, and it's just faster. It really is what it comes down to, just faster. But I tell you all the time is that a strong composition, it doesn't matter if you use it, if you use uh, old techniques or you use, use, use new techniques. It all depends on the strong picture, you know? Nice, nice. Yeah. And how about, uh, how about name dropping and letting people know some of the particular projects you have worked on that they might have seen <laughs> in this stratosphere? Here's the thing, I've done a lot of work in Japan uh, with my friend Kazuo Matsushima. Uh, and they, I worked this one game called Maharoba Stories. You can probably find it on game trailers. I did incidental art for that. Another game called Ultimate Racer for the Japanese iOS. I did a couple of covers for this doujin called Beast Works. I have worked on a couple of movies that, let's not talk about those. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they weren't very good. Um, so we're gonna keep that. I mean, I wasn't. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my department. I just, you know, I just drew the production art and stuff. Um, I recently just did an eight-page story in Indie Comics Magazine number eight. Go pick that up now. It came out a couple of months ago, and I'm working on a potential graphic novel called Spaghetti. I'm gonna name drop that there. Uh, Space Western. So. You know, yeah, getting that going there. And of course, I got Budai Den coming up. I've got, I, I do mostly a lot of commissions and I've got a few other irons in the fire that I can't quite talk about right at this exact moment. You can go to uh, look me up on bluehonzosdojo.blogspot.com or you can look me up Blue Hanzo Art on Facebook. All right, my name is Don Robeson. You can find me at bluehonzosdojo.blogspot.com and this is sugarcane.com. Right? That's right, it's sugarcane.com. Sugarcane.com, there you go. The Urban Action Showcase. That's right, Urban Action Showcase. Come down, you feel you weren't here, you should have been here. You should have been here. That's right. That's right. It's live. Say back to you, Billy. Back to you, Billy.